Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about 3D printing. What is it and how you can use it for problem solving in everyday life and building with EMT Conduit. 3D printing is also called additive manufacturing. It's where you're creating an object one layer at a time from a digital model. There's a lot of use in the hobby and maker space, but it got its start in industry like automotive, education, and aerospace. We use them to create stemmed casters, which is an insert to put wheels onto conduit. We also use them to create our mini connectors for prototyping. You can even make this chocolate cake out of 3D printing. It's crazy. We're gonna link more resources down below if you're interested. So as you can see, 3D printing is pretty much universal and is widely used, and it's a great tool for problem solving. And that brings us to the topic for today's video using a 3D printer to problem solve while building with Conduit. Since building with EMT is a pretty new concept, you may run into a problem or have an idea while building that there just isn't a solution yet. We've had a couple of good examples of this recently in the community. Chris made a fantastic solar panel mount for him and his wife to go camping. They wanted something that was easy to put out when there was sun and then fold flat when it was time to put it away. The main panel was easy to make out of maker pipe but it required some problem solving to get it to fold flat. That's where 3D printing came in. Chris 3D printed these blocks that allow two pieces of conduit to cross over each other. He used U-bolts in conjunction with the 3D printed blocks and have nuts here that can tighten and loosen as needed. It's a great example of some creative problem solving with 3D printing. Another cool 3D printed accessory that Chris made was this hinge piece that connects two maker pipe connectors and then hinges in the middle. I can see how this would be really useful for making things like gates or doors. Now these are just two of the many 3D printed parts that Chris has made. I'll be sure to link all of the other ones down below. And I'll also link his YouTube channel, Serendipity Sue, if you wanna see some of his other great DIY projects. I wanna highlight another maker from the community called MKE Gadgets. He's got a great YouTube channel that we'll link down below. His first maker pipe project was a welding curtain frame that he built in his shop. And his 3D printed accessory is a little bit different in that it's an aid to help him build. And what he created was this 3D printed handle that goes around a five millimeter Allen wrench used in building. Really helps grip the tool and turn it. Uh, the next one that he created is another building aid. And this one is smart as well. This is a jig to allow you to drill exactly in the center of three quarter inch EMT. He 3D printed this. It goes on the conduit like that. And then there's a guide hole that allows you to drill exactly in the center of the EMT conduit. A great solution for a common problem. We're gonna go ahead and link MKE Gadget's video and his channel down below. Okay, so all this is great, but how do you get started in 3D printing if you're a complete beginner? One option, and probably the easiest, is to 3D print objects that have already been made. Like I said, Chris has made a ton of connectors for building with EMT, and MKE Gadgets has made a lot of accessories and building aids. So you could download those files and print, and I'll be sure to link a tutorial for doing that down below. Another option is to learn how to 3D model yourself and create your own files. I recommend using Tinkercad because it's a free software and it's widely used in the 3D printing community, which means there's tons of videos and articles and how-tos on getting started with it. Once you have the skills to 3D print, then you're gonna need the printer. Now we use the Ender Pro V2 because it's relatively inexpensive coming in at $250, which we think is a great price for what you get out of it. Now you may find that it's not the best solution for you, so just do some research and find an option that works best for your budget and your needs. So I'll be sure to link uh, several different resources down below for getting started with creating 3D objects. We hope you found this video helpful and encouraging. 3D printing is really a superpower. If you have any questions, whether it be 3D printing or with your DIY project, be sure to leave a comment down below or post to the community. We are happy to help and want to see you be successful. If you like this content and you want to see more build tutorials and build roundups, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you next time.